Debt Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org. What you got there? Something very, very interesting, my friend. Ooh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights. See that? All right, I thought we'd have a little look through it. I bet there's some interesting stuff in there. Local government, mafia, seems to be telling us what to do. Article 1. <clears throat> do you want to hear some of it? Yeah, definitely. All human beings are born free and equal in their dignities and rights. Did you hear that, council? Uh-huh. MPs, police? They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Well, those who work a negative path, certainly, uh, brotherhood, mm. which we've... Uh, the opposition. We've, we've explained. Article 2. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration without distinction of any kind, such as race, colour, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, as is other opinion, <laughs> national or social origin, property, birth or other status. Furthermore, no distinction shall be made on the basis of the political, jurisdictional or international status of the country or territory to which a person belongs. That means nobody can tell you what to do. Article 4. No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Oh. Excuse <laughs> me? I think we know several that are breaching that one. Uh, we will register you to vote. Yes. Uh, we will use your name. Yes. Am I a slave? Yes. Uh, yes. So that means that the council are guilty of breaching Article 4 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Correct. And um, not only do the government tell you what to do, but the local governments tell you what to do as well. So, basically, you need to ask them, oh, am I a servant? Am I a slave? You, you are servants for men and women, aren't you? Then why are you treating me like a slave? Because in the news just recently, they've been talking about modern slavery. Mm. And basically, it's not modern slavery, it's been going on for thousands of years. Yep. It really has. It's just now that it's coming to the fore that you, the public, the men and women, can actually see it for themselves now because they're getting so cocksure about themselves, think they're going to have this dictatorship whether we want it or not. Register to vote. Yes. <clears throat> send your kids to school. Yes. Pay tax. But they see, this is the problem. School, it's not a school, it's an indoctrination. So, slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all forms. All forms? Yeah. Even voluntary slavery? Well, how can it be after we've just said? The government are, are, are enslaving our mind-body-spirit complexes yeah. by telling us to send our kids to school, pay your TV licence, do this, do that, pay tax. Right? It says nobody shall be subjected to torture, inhumane, degrading treatment or punishment. <laughs> Hold on, what happens if you don't pay your council tax? Well, you can get to prison. That's punishment. Yes. But a prison is for slaves. But the, even there, even there... That's it's not a jail. Sti it's still not lawful because the council tax liability order in the first place is unlawful, so sending them to prison for using an unlawful uh, liability order is another crime. Well, I've got another question for... We know the local dictatorship and the, the MI5 and the government will watch our videos. Yeah, they enjoy watching the Thank truth. you very, very much indeed. We love you. We really do. She did just, just a fantastic job. I forgot what I was going to ask now. <laughs> <laughs> it was just to, to something that you just said. Uh, yeah, yeah why, why, why do you punish us? So I guess really we are slaves, aren't we? I know we've gone over this. Hmm. So Article 12. No one shall be subjected to arbitrary interference with his privacy, family, home or correspondence, nor to any to attacks upon his honour and reputation. Thank you for writing to us. Hmm. Yeah? Attacking us? Apparently, Article 13. Everyone has the right to leave the country, including his own. Mm. His own country. Well, it's not ours, is it? It's theirs, because they've stolen it. Oh, it's a private limited corporation, isn't yes. it? Article 15. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his nationality, nor denied the right to change his nationality. So if you're a Syrian and you want to become British, suppose you can. Yeah. And if we're British and we want to become Syrian, although Obama and Cameron and the Vatican and even Vladimir have literally blown that country to bits, and haven't Turkey. they? Turkey. Let's not forget Turkey's been bombing them as well. Oh, yeah. Alright, Article 17, everyone has the right to own property alone. 
you try telling that to the land registry. <laughs> <laughs> article uh, Article 17, Part 2. No one should be arbitrarily deprived of his property. <laughs> you try telling that to Tom Crawford and his wife. Article 18. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion. This right includes freedom to change his religion or belief and freedom. Hmm. Do you know what we believe in? Good love and happiness. Article 19. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. Oh, thank you for writing to us and telling us what to do, <laughs> local dictators. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek. You shall not use this, they told us. You shall not say, PAEDOPHILE! Well, we use it like we do. Oh, another thing to the council. No, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> right, a friend of ours, you know him as Johnny Zero. Right, he's got a barber's on Station Street. Quite famous now. He's doing all right for himself. Yeah. Um... Well, it's, it's right next door to Robin the Hood house, almost. There's a little railway in, in position. And he's asked the local council, Nottingham City Council, that is. Nottingham Criminal Cartel. The local dictatorship mafia, malfeasant oppressing despots. <laughs> Unison. He asked them four and a half years ago, are you or are you not committing fraud? Well, I'm sure they must have got back to him by now. No, they just keep telling him to get out. They've barred him from the building. Don't believe us, they've cancelled all his PCNs. <clears throat> so, um, you know, if you are ser men and servants of the men and women that live in Nottingham, how come you can't answer questions? Just a simple, simple one like that. Because basically what Jonathan asked the local council was he, he got a letter. Uh, it was to do with the penalty charge notice. And um, he got a letter from the council and he says, yes, we've taken you to court. So he called Northampton county court and they said they'd never heard of him mm. right and said oh it must be the um, the paper clearing house down the road that you've gone through the bulk center so he called the council and said yes we've, we've we've taken you to court and he says the court have never heard of me so are you or are you not committing fraud and they still won't answer well, <laughs> unfortunately because of their lack of response you can only make one assumption from that can't you or come to one conclusion mm. that they are committing fraud article 19 Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to, to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive and impart information and ideas <coughs> through any media like YouTube, regardless of frontiers. So what did the local uh, oppressing despots tell us to do? They told us we can't say this, we can't say that and we, we should take our videos down from YouTube. And anybody else who's uploaded them, we've got to ask them to remove them. Yeah. Okay, well, mm. Universal Declaration of Rights yeah. says we can do what we like. Okay. Article 21, Part 2. Everyone has the right to equal access to public service in this country. Ooh. Have you seen how lousy the public service is? It's not a recession, it's rubbish. They're serving themselves. And uh, Part 3. Well, actually, Part 2 with the uh, services, uh, public service, everyone has... In the uh, Despot's uh, latest paperwork, they're saying that they will remove certain public services if you don't register to vote. So that's another breach of this universal declaration of human rights. That's an infringement on your basic rights, isn't it? As a, as a human being, or as a man and a woman. Nottingham criminal cartel. Oh, you're, they're all at it. It's not just our local uh, cartel that are at it. Have a listen to this. This is, this is uh, Article 21, 21 again, Part 3. The will of the people shall be the basis for the authority of government and local government. Mm. The will of the people. Oh, we, 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 our will is that you just carry on protecting the uh, paedophiles and um, keep robbing us. Oh, just keep robbing us and giving it away to uh, huge corporations. Mm. Oh, this is our will. Oh, thank you so much. We really love you. Because we've got no money. You see that Bio City? Yeah, two million or something. It's probably twelve million that it's cost. But, but, but we've got no money. How come Bio City can't pay for it it's themselves? Ah, because. Backhanders. They have got plenty of money. They're protecting the public purse for themselves, yeah. you know that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we must protect the public purse. Yeah, for yourselves and your mates. Dear oh dear. We've got no money. We have to increase council tax again this year. You've got to pay. You've got to pay. You've got to pay. Don't that's, worry, we're going to give it to that, Bio and City and the Brown That's Marshall. why they've increased it by the maximum amount. Come on, you lot. Because, for, because it's getting to the end. They know their For sod's sake. Or is it for sodomy's sake? Right, Article 22. 
Now, have you seen all these programs that are just all over television? I haven't got a television myself. I go around to a friend's house, and every night it's people on benefit. Life on the dole, benefits Britain. Ooh, Don't dole, pay, dole we'll scrounges. take it away. Yeah, all oh, benefits, 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 benefits. Right, Article 22. Everyone, their entitlements actually. Everyone as a member of society has the right to social security. <gasps> Everyone. That means that the government have breached the human, human rights declaration as well then, because they've been taking money off. They've been calling it benefits, when actually, like you say, you're quite right, it is an entitlement, and they've been taking their entitlements away. Yeah. Article 24. Everyone has the right to rest and leisure. Leisure. Yeah. So, I mean, Cameron says, you've, we're the party... Having a party, aren't they? Mm. I'd have to tea party more like. We're the party that is the um, you must work party. Everyone yeah. has must work, so that's slavery, isn't it? Yes. So you can't just have well, uh, rest and leisure and, not just and be creative. Maybe go paid. Think about paint. it. When when they do get you on one of these schemes where you don't get paid for it, but you got to do the work, that's slavery. A bit like that paedophile's uh, wife that's now got to work for the council for free. Yeah. Oh, it's just got to work for something anyway. Okay, Article 25. Everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of his self, himself and of his family, including food, clothing, housing, and medical care and necessary social services, and the right to security in the event of unemployment, sickness, disability, David Cameron, widowhood, old age, or other lack of livelihood in circumstances beyond in control. Hmm. You know, that they want to remove all that from you, don't they? Now, we're getting towards the end of it. There's literally just two bits I want to re read out. Article 26, part 3. Parents have a prior right to choose the kind of education that can be given to their children. You must send your kids to school, otherwise we will fine you! Well, this is what the local mind controllers say to you, but you can actually deregister your children and school them yourself if you want. A friend of mine is about to do this to his four-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old son. Okay. And finally, Article 30. Nothing in this declaration, excuse me, may be interpreted as implying for any state, group or person any right to engage in any activity or to perform any act aimed at the destruction of any of the rights and freedoms set forth herein. So thank you to the local yeah, council and, and national and the local government and the, the central government for telling us what to do or else. You really do have our best interests at heart, don't you? Thank you so much. Be well. Debt Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org.